begin by finding a position for your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Maybe it's seated in a chair or in a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. Maybe it's another posture. In any case, allow your body to become comfortable. And having established comfort in your body, take a look to see if there's any muscular tension that's present at this time. Do a brief scan of your body. And if you find muscular tension anywhere, perhaps in your face or your jaws, your shoulders, your arms, your hips, your legs, if you find tension, see if you can invite it to relax, to loosen, to let go. Allow your body to relax. If at any time during this practice period, you find that your body has tightened up, feel free to return to relaxation. You can always relax. And if you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. It doesn't have to be a huge grin, just a gentle, easy smile. And settle in here to this place where your body is comfortable and relaxed and you're smiling. This is home base for Metta practice. Enjoy being here for another moment. Without leaving this place in your body that's comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face, begin to use your mind. Reflect on things that you can summon a felt sense of gratitude for. Reflect on the things in your life that you can feel grateful for. These may, might be big or small, special to you and your life right now, or totally ordinary, like having food to eat or a 
a place to sleep, water to drink, air to breathe, anything at all. Simply reflect on things that you can feel grateful for. You can stay with one thing or move through many different things. Simply reflect on this theme, gratitude. And as you do so, if there are any feelings in your body of gratitude, warmth, happiness, notice those and really enjoy them. Continue to reflect on things that you can feel grateful for, for another moment. Very good. Now, bring to mind someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Your easy to love person or animal. Could be anyone at all, a friend or family member, a small child in your life, a pet, even someone imaginary, just imagining a cute animal or a character, anyone at all, just someone that's relatively easy for you to feel love for. See this person in your mind's eye, imagine them. Cultivate an attitude of love and care, well wishing for this person. Imagine them being happy and wish that for them. Continue to cultivate an attitude of love and well-wishing for your easy-to-love person or animal. 
for another moment. As we do these practices, different things may give us a sense of enjoyment or happiness or love. If any of these feelings arise for you from any technique, notice them and really enjoy them. Savor them, soak them up. And if one strategy or approach works for you, remember that and feel free to stay with it or return to it. You get to decide how to practice. Very good. Now we're gonna to transition to practicing sympathetic joy or mudita. Mudita is being happy for others, for their successes, for any happiness that they may have, knowing that they're happy and feeling happy for them. Reflect on the friends and family members in your life and consider if anyone has had any kind of recent successes or happinesses, joys in their life. It's almost always the case that someone in our life is having a special joy or a special sorrow. And we can use these events as sort of practice material for Mudita and Karuna, respectively, for sympathetic joy and for compassion, feeling for others' happinesses, feeling for their sorrows. So tonight we'll reflect on people's happinesses, their joys, their successes. Consider if there's anything like that happening for your friends or family members or someone that you know. If you're not sure, you can make something up. You can imagine, for example, someone getting a promotion or having a new child or falling in love. Could be anything at all, of course. Just consider someone in your life and their real or imaginary success or happiness and bring that to mind. Once you've selected someone in a kind of scenario or situation, visualize what that looks like. See them being happy in your mind.
see them being promoted or falling in love, witnessing the birth of their child or whatever it is. As I say, it could be anything at all. It depends on who you choose and what's happening in their life. But try to visualize it in your mind. See them being happy. Imagine what they might feel like in this situation, real or imaginary. Elation or joy, happiness, relief, fulfillment, connection. See if you can connect to that in your body and feel that with them, for them. If you'd like, you can use phrases in your mind to help you cultivate these feelings. Wow, I want you to be so happy. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Any phrase that you like, really. It doesn't really matter whether you use images or mental talk or even a direct feeling in your body. Most important thing is to cultivate this attitude, feeling their joy, feeling their happiness, feeling with them, feeling for them. Again, if there's any felt sense of happiness or joy, feeling that sympathetic joy, that mudita, notice it and really enjoy it. Even if it's small. If you'd like, you can stay with the same person and same situation or move to another person and another situation. You can move through as many people as you like, at whatever pace you like. 
Again, you get to decide. Do whatever feels best for you. However you do it, whoever you do it for. The most important thing is to cultivate this attitude of sympathetic joy. Continue to practice cultivating sympathetic joy for another few moments.
Very good. Now, take a moment to look back. What was this practice period like for you? What happened? Did you face any challenges? Did you learn anything new? Take a moment to consider and reflect. And as you're ready at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation.